This is Paul Ashatiya, the Marriott International Hotel here at the Pyramid Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh, it's an election year for the Republic of Ghana, and today our special guest uh, here is going to be uh, the presidential nominee, the front runner of the New Patriotic Party, Nana Adodanko Akufo Addo. Uh, it's going to be an open forum. A lot of Ghanaian citizens here have a lot of pressing questions uh, that they want to talk to him about. And so that's why we're here. Uh, obviously, he's here in the United States to get his campaign going. We just want to know uh, what he plans on doing uh, for Ghanaian citizens based here in the United States, especially, especially to uh, exercise their franchise, their universal adult suffrage, to actually cast their vote and be part of policy making and decision making in our beloved country, Ghana. So we hope you join us and enjoy the show. Uh, hopefully, eventually, you get to meet up with him and ask him your own questions. But for now, we're going to bring it to you live from Atlanta Perimeter Center. Thank you. The Republic of Ghana, a model of democracy. Hey, how you doing, sir? After over two decades of peaceful elections, Ghana, a beacon of the African continent, will on December 7, 2012, go to the polls to elect a new president. Today we welcome the front-runner and presidential candidate of the New Patriotic Party. The excitement on the faces of these people here. Uh, it looks at a very good prospect of uh, this man here becoming the next president of Ghana. Ladies and gentlemen, Nana Adudanko Akufuado is in the building. This forum is about to kick off right now, so stay with us. Thank you. As he made his way around the hall greeting his fellow Ghanaians, it suddenly hit them that the man who almost won the previous election was at it again crucially this time to run a government that is widely recognized as an emerging market globally and a thriving economy. As widely expected, he touched on investments, homeland security, tourism, economic stability and new voting legislation for Ghanaians overseas. First of all, let me thank you so much for coming to meet me this evening at such short notice. I know you didn't get the notice of my presence here early, but a lot of you have turned up and I'm really very, very grateful. The schedule was hectic, so we got straight down to business. My first question, the most important on the minds of Ghanaians in the United States and abroad, which is their right to vote. My name is Paul Ashati from the Actors Gallery, uh, and I want to welcome you back to the United States and congratulate you on your nomination. Uh, I want to speak briefly on behalf of students, uh, again, and uh, seniors and uh, everybody else, Ghanaian citizens based here in the United States. I believe that uh, the most important thing is uh, for you to get our votes. Um, as it is now, uh, we won't be able to go back home and register and vote for whatever reason. Uh, we want to ask you now, uh, if you're president, what legislation are you going to put into place so that we'll be able to exercise our franchise and our universal adult suffrage even while we're still resident here in the United States? Thank you. Duties, diaspora. Last time, 2008, I made the commitment that if I had won, I was going to create a department of the presidency to handle diaspora matters. We're going to make that commitment again in the in the, the manifesto. And basically, what that office is going to do is to work out a package that will be act as an incentive for you when you're coming back home. And it's going to be comprehensive. We're not just talking duties. We're also talking opportunities for work. We're talking opportunities for doing business. All those will be coordinated out of this office. And looking at what, what we need to do to rationalize the duties for those who are coming back home. That will be part of the package. 
But that commitment will be in the NPP manifesto this time. In the same way, was the NPP government that passed ROPA? We want to uh, implement it. Unfortunately, we were not able to do so before we left. Our successors have made it clear they're not interested, but we are interested. If we come back, we're going to implement it and make it possible for all of you to be able to exercise your franchise. Less developed countries in Africa do this, Togolese, Malians, etc., vote in their national elections. Why cannot Ghanaians do the same? Call it what you like, this man is clearly the favorite of the masses here. With so much at stake, there's every reason for these party faithfuls to bond towards a much better Ghana. And as the questions poured in, the presidential candidate extended his time to respond accordingly. There's no getting away from the attention and the energy inside the hall. The people of Ghana enjoy their peace and are also highly expectant of yet another peaceful election to bring them the hope and progress they expect. The interactions up close and healthy with the young and old now brimming with confidence from their leader's pledge. Here's more. Hello, I'd like to introduce you to uh, Ms. Nada Bailey here. She's the manager of this hotel. Uh, she actually had a lot to do with uh, making this facility available for this particular uh, forum. Uh, we want to just acknowledge uh, our Ghanaian uh, sisters and brothers out here who are doing something, something well and credible enough. And uh, we just want to thank you, you know, for, for making this happen. Uh, you want to wave to, uh, to, to your fellow citizens. This is going across the world. Nice. Uh, just so that they can see how much you've put in to, to help promote our democracy in our country and do whatever it takes to facilitate that and make that happen. So we appreciate you doing this for us. Well, Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Boom, it's the Johnny Conscious, the musical messenger. And you know, it was Marcus Giavi that said that Africa for Africans at home and abroad. So right now I'm here with the top nominee for Ghana presidential election. The top nominee is Nana Kufano. And we're going to mix and mingle and talk more, talk about what is good for Africans everywhere, in Jamaica, in America, all through the diaspora. So, you know, Bill with us and we keep it linked because we are one people, one love, one harmony, one joy, one God. This is What's going on? It's your boy Juice Big Fellow, otherwise known as Nana Nakachum. I'm um, here representing the Ghanaian youth pretty much and the, uh, the Ghanaian youngsters from America that, that have a, a voice and have a passion for the politics and the political standpoint of this country, Ghana, that we're speaking on. Uh, they're hosting a huge, huge meet and greet for the, the, the top presidential candidate right now and I'm just blessed to be here. It's, it's beautiful to just be invited to, to take part of this like huge occasion. Like What we're doing is just bringing what's happening here and in, in America to Ghana and to Africa so that the youth can see. It's harder for the youth to actually watch the, the, the top broadcast networks and all that because they're not giving them that perspective. So we give this perspective to you so you understand exactly what's going on. So salute. Nana Nakuchu, mother known as Juice Big Fella. The conference was dubbed the most critical election of a generation. And why not? With the new oil reserves recently discovered along the shores of Ghana, its citizens are now perhaps looking forward to career opportunities and a lifeline on their own soil. We want to thank you for joining us. Uh, it's been a very healthy session in there with several delegates and representatives from the New Patriotic Party, and most importantly with the front runner and the presidential candidate, uh, Nana Adodankwa Akufuado. 
tonight, Indian citizens basically in the United States can go home uh, with a good feeling about where their country is going. Because we've had this uh, front runner come all the way from Ghana to interact with us, give us his agenda and his manifesto, and, and why he feels that he's the right person to lead this country into the next decade or so. I want to thank you for sticking with us. Once again, this is Paul Ashati representing the Actors Gallery together with Juice Big Fellow and Tijani Conscious. Thank you.